broader the package that one makes of themselves, the more they will communicate. Because nobody wants to just listen to a music of a composer who does nothing but be a composer. And I tell, this, I tell my students that, you know, enrich yourself, do other things, because you'll never write a piece that's larger than what you've created as a person. Where does the material come from? Donatoni and Stockhausen made me realize what I could do if I wanted to. So it wasn't, I'd made, I didn't make a choice out of ignorance. Uh, like you saying you want to learn what Stockhausen was doing, you really wanted to find out. Well, I found out, and I still didn't want to do it. You know, I tell in Europe or, or wherever they think uh, we're not modern enough, I say, look, we can turn around tomorrow and do what you're doing, and you can do what we're doing. Then we made a choice. And uh, that's because we find, like George Rockberg did, my, my friend, old friend, that you find the, the materials that you best communicate with, and that's it. You know, you don't become affected because someone's telling you something, that your materials aren't modern enough. So I, I give them the example that, for example, if, if in uh, 1450, uh, Sackbutz and Krumhorn started to play Lachemann. They could, because as soon as they tempered the scale, they couldn't, you know, eh, his music sounds like it could be played, sound very nice on Krumhorns and stuff like that. And about, and in 2018, two cats came along from Italy, Gabrielli and Monteverdi, and uh, started doing their music. Somebody would go, holy cow, I mean, this, I just heard the most modern music I've ever heard, you know, it's like, these canzonas, what do they call, you know, I mean, or these madrigals? Wow, these guys are flipped out, man. There's no forwards and backwards in music. So um, I'm, I'm so happy that these days young composers don't seem to care. <laughs> interested in who's going to ask for the next piece and maybe who's going to record it. Those are the only two things I need. Multiple performances, you get through that websites or whatever. I don't care. What's the next piece? Because I'm a composer. I'm not a promoter. I'm not a person that wants, uh, I'm not even a person that wants pieces to be played all the time. I just want to know what the next piece I'm going to write is. If it has to be piano quartet number five, uh, it might have to be, you know. Whatever, but uh, that's that's why I can live here. Because if you if you live minimally and you just do the thing you're supposed to do, you don't need all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. 